have just been talking with Momo, our little pink sheep friend here, and we realized that I've been building in this world for over 600 days. 643 to be exact. And somehow in those 643 days, I've managed to live out of this for my storage room. And today we are gonna change that. We are going to work on building a brand new storage room and we're going to put it right up on this hill and then we're gonna move these trees and make a cute little bridge to get us across to it. I've already started collecting some of the resources from a live stream and I also want to make a bamboo farm because I build out of bamboo so much. And last but not least, we're going to name our sniffers from the comments you guys left. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and check if you're subscribed. Now, the first goal and project of today is going to be the bamboo farm. Now, on a previous live stream, we did work on this. Oh, that one was backwards, nice. But since we did not finish this and I want to uh, have the bamboo farm working, we're just going to grab the supplies that we're going to need to finish this off. And then we're gonna put a cozy little build on top of it so that this doesn't just look like a uh, absolute mess. So I'm going to start working on this and struggling with redstone while you enjoy the time lapse. So we started tearing down some of what we had built previously because I realized I needed more space for the bamboo farm than what I initially built. Once we had the dimensions correct, we started building up the bamboo farm, getting all of the pistons and the observers in their proper places, and then we set up the blocks that the redstone would be sitting on to make the farm actually work. And then we did a test which successfully worked, so I knew I could just replicate things to finish out the build. Once the collection system for the farm was working, we began cleaning up the farm to make it look a little bit nicer, replacing the temporary blocks with some of the stone bricks under the pistons and on the sides of the farm. Once we got all the stone bricks in place, we added the bamboo into the farm so we could start automatically collecting the bamboo for the first time in our world. Next, I grabbed some cactus that we had growing by our cow crusher and planted some of it back to continue growing, since I did want to have some of the cactus be turned into green dye and then dye some of the glass so that we could see into the bamboo farm and watch the farm working while also not losing any bamboo in the process. All right, and the last bits of glass are going over the top, so we're able to see the bamboo farm at work from above here. I think it will be so nice. And then we have these little shoots that we can just come down down the ladder here and then we can easily access our bamboo as we need it and make the blocks of bamboo with the crafting table there. And it's the same thing on the other side. I'm probably gonna change this just so that when we actually like have the build, you know, we're actually uh, having our chests be in the build. We don't have to be outside of the build to access it. But now is the fun part, the cozy building. First, we started towering up using dark oak to create the pillars and corners for the build. Once we had all the dark oak pillars in place, we began adding in the made building palette for the bamboo farm, which was the green bamboo block. From there, we added the dark oak planks as the floor, adding some counters on the sides, and then I realized I had to move one of the walls one block over to make the dimensions even again, and then it was time to start working on the roof of the build. There we go, our bamboo farm has an exterior, we've got a build, the inside is still empty, but this is what it kind of looks like. So we have our little glass ceiling so we can see through. I don't really like seeing the mangrove roof, I think I want to just use some dark oak and just kind of cover over this but I just do want to still be able to see through this. So what I'll probably do is just make the skylight come down to about this level is kind of my idea, but now we're just gonna work on the interior and making this a cute and cozily decorated bamboo farm. And uh, I, I do need to make a way to get down to the farm somehow. I, yeah, so. 
We'll have to figure that out and see how we can make that happen. I have to like literally like find a place to get in here. So that's kind of the, the next things we're gonna be working on is just the interior of this place. All right, our bamboo farm is all done and decorated. And here's what we have. I think my favorite piece of this room are these bamboo accent walls. I think they're so cute. And it really just fits the vibe of, you know, it being a bamboo farm very well. And we also have our canopy bed as a centerpiece with lots of bookshelves and barrels. We've got the little composters with the leaves as well, but I think the canopy bed roof is just the coolest thing ever. I feel like you'd call it a canopy. I don't know what else you'd call it. Let me know in the comments. But then from above, we have our skylight. I think I may add a second layer of glass here. Not totally sure. So this is just here to kind of remind me that that was the idea that I had. But then on this back wall here, we've just got lots of little pots full of bamboo. We've got more chiseled bookshelves to add books in here. And then we've got a furnace and a crafting table, but I think this is so cute. These bamboo walls are definitely the best part of it. What a nice little feature, accent wall. I absolutely love it. Now the way to get down to our farm is right through here. So that's why there was just a missing piece of bamboo growing, but it's not decorated like at all. It's just green to kind of fit the vibes, but I didn't really feel like doing a whole lot down here because all I'm gonna do is grab bamboo and then walk my way back up the ladder. So it's not like I like need this to be a certain way. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now that we're done with the bamboo build, I wanna take a break from building and we're gonna go name our sniffers from your comments. Let's go and sleep really quickly. And then we're going to grab our name tags for our little sniffers. Ah, all right, a good night of sleep, some food. How's it going, Soda? How are you today? I hope you're good. Thanks for keeping an eye on our place. All right. So I took out some of my name tags and I put them in an ender chest. So we have three name tags and I'm pretty sure we have three sniffers. So let's get some names going. First sniffer is going to be named Suika, which means a watermelon in Japanese. Our second sniffer is going to be named Ichigo, which means strawberry in Japanese. And our third sniffer is going to be named Takara, which means treasure in Japanese. Now, thank you to everyone that left name suggestions for our little sniffers. I loved looking through the names that you guys picked. It was super fun and also hard to pick the final three names for our sniffers, but it had to be done. So let's go see our little friends again. Hello, my sniffers. How are you doing? Hello, all three of you are still alive. Love to see it. All right, so we have Ichigo. We've got Tsuika and we've got Takara. So we've got Strawberry, we've got Watermelon, and we've got Treasure. And with our little sniffer friends all named, I think that is a great kind of addition to our little episode here. But it is time to continue on with today's plans, which is tackling the biggest project of them all. I need a storage room because I'm running out of space in my chests. Now, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, I do need to put these chests away. So I'm gonna quickly move these chests back to our storage area, and then we'll start clearing out the space to build our new storage pagoda. So chest by chest, we began moving over all the different blocks and items back into our original storage area. I probably will still use the smaller storage area here for some things, maybe more the important items I'll keep in my starter hose, kind of like just keeping the treasures close, but everything else I'll eventually move into our new storage pagoda. All right, now, as far as building and clearing out space for our little storage pagoda, we're gonna create our little build on top of this hill here. So we just need to work on flattening out the area so that it's, uh, well, manageable. So 
we're taking down the tree, we're clearing out these mini trees, which I don't know why the jungle biomes do this. It's literally just one log underneath all those leaves, but then it's just everywhere. So we're going to be working on clearing out a 17 long by 13 wide space, and then we'll start building once this is all cleared out. So enjoy the time lapse. just like that we've got a cleared out space primed and ready for building so this is where the staircase is gonna go that i want to lead us from our starter home all the way up to our storage build and we're making it 17 wide uh, let's just see what let's do some blocks actually right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and this is the entrance into the space one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen draw our line again and here we have it in a free cam this is what we got our entrance is going to be pushed out one block to kind of have our entrance kind of stand out a little bit and then the rest of it will be pushed back one block but i think this is gonna look really nice so without further ado let's get working on a time lapse building up our storage pagoda All right, so the exterior of our build is complete. We've got chests. I've started to kind of just set up some shelving in here. We've started adding in some of the chests, but we just need to fill this space and get all of our chests in place and all of our decorations. So let's do some decorating, shall we? So in this front entryway, I thought it would be really cute just to have a bunch of little pots and then we can put some different flowers. We'll also put some bamboo in here just to keep with our theme. So we'll put bamboo in these ones. Then we'll add chests over here so that's filled out perfectly. And then I also want to create some walls, kind of like separators like what I have here. So we're just going to finish these walls really quickly. So with the different chest segments, I want to have, say, like stones in here, our wood types in here, leaves, flowers, greenery, and dirt in here, have maybe sand, terracotta's clays over here, the mob drops, just all the different segments. It's going to be nice and organized, and this place will no longer be empty, but let's do a nice little transition so when you guys come back in, it'll be a brand new space. 
and it's done look at that oh i'm so happy with how this turned out but right inside the door we've got our little potted plants and bamboo we've got our little planter boxes with leaves throughout the whole area we've got some more chests and barrels and chiseled bookshelves we put leaves on top of the ceiling to just really make it all feel very overgrown. Then we've got our first segment of chests and kind of a furnace a smelting workstation over here. And I think this looks so good. We put moss carpet throughout just to add some more green overgrown vibes. And then over on our right, we've got our little bed, a little spot to get some extra crafting done. I also snuck a little crafting table in that corner. But then we've got more chests here, same over here and over here. And this is what we have for our storage room. And of course, you know, I had to uh, stick our little spore blossom in here to get the particle vibes. And I love this so much. Like this is so cozy for a storage room. Like I would just hang out in here. I love it. And as far as the outside, I just added some of the little pitcher plants along the outside in little planter boxes. We've got some bamboo as well growing next to them with some glow berries and lanterns. And then I also used dark oak slabs with some mangrove and some leaves to kind of edge our little path. And I think the path looks so cute. I also put little uh, bamboo fields on either side and I, I love it. I think this is so, so cute. It's a great addition to our area. And looking in free cam, this is what it looks like from further away. I think this looks so good and it honestly is just helping our area come together so well i absolutely love it if i go all the way zooming out we have all of our little builds from our sniffer sanctuary to our storage room all the way to our iron and skelly farms our area is looking so cozy guys i'm so happy with the progress now even though i have officially decorated this on the exterior and the interior i kind of forgot about completely decorating the exterior of our little bamboo farm and it it looks uh pretty sad so we're going to decorate this little build on the exterior and add some leaves onto the roof and i also forgot to add leaves onto this roof so we're going to add some leaves onto this roof and then actually decorate the thing that i was going to and uh, then we'll see how those look afterwards with an aerial view And with an aerial view of our storage room, just on the leaves honestly adds so much to a build. I love it and it looks so cute. Next, we moved on to decorating the bamboo farm, starting with grabbing some of the bamboo from our farm to decorate with. Our farm is already producing a good amount and I'm super happy we have this in our area now. We next created some bamboo planter boxes to line the exterior and really fit the theme of this build being our bamboo farm. We then bone mealed around our area to fill the blank ground with some more life and texture. This is a super easy terraforming hack I always like to do. It was then time to add leaves to the roof to finish out the decorating of the build. With the leaves done, I decided to add a cherry blossom tree to the area just to add some additional color and particle effects to our little area here. Then I added a spore blossom and some lanterns to finish it all off. We've got the leaves on the roof. We use lots of glow berries and lanterns on the corner posts. We used the vines and we made, of course, the bamboo be the little accent walls again. And I used the mud and that's pretty much what it's like all the way around. I also added some small and big drip leaf along with a bunch of lily pads just kind of dotted around the edge. And I think it looks really nice. And I hid all of the torches underneath the moss carpets added some flowers and a lovely little cherry blossom tree and it's it's so cute 
I love it so much. Now that we have officially finished decorating both our storage room and our bamboo farm, there's something that we have not talked about yet in this world. And that is going to the end and fighting the dragon and getting an elytra. So I next want to grab a water bucket, some potions, and a jack-o'-lantern to prepare for said dragon fight. Once I make my pets look cute, I, I they must look cute. So we're just going to do a little bit of decorating along the edge here. It's fine. I just want this to look a little bit more put together for some path blocks and using coarse dirt is probably my favorite way to do so except i uh, i definitely need more of it but you know it's it's a start it, it's looking a little bit better but while we're over here we're gonna go over and see what we have in our potion area with our blaze rods I'm okay, perfect, 16. Next, we're gonna brew up some slow fall potions and some strength potions. So let's collect supplies for those. And uh, I also need to Google the recipes because uh, sometimes I forget and I just wanna make sure I have it right. So for our slow fall potions, we need our phantom membranes. I'm also going to grab some extra glass for bottles and I'm gonna grab some extra redstone dust. Now we go back down, we grab a nether wart and we start by putting that in here to make us the start of our slow fall potion. Then we're grabbing our phantom membrane to turn it into a slow fall potion. Now we have a potion of slow falling for a minute and 30, but adding redstone will make this longer. So we definitely want that for the fight. And there we go, four minutes of slow falling. So we're going to create more of these glass bottles and then fill these up so that I can make some more potions. We'll do another round of our slow falling potions and then we'll switch to making our strength potions. And in the meantime, I'm going to put our slow fall potions in this chest. And I honestly will probably just temporarily take some of this stuff out because I don't really need all of this extra stuff in here right now. And with the awkward potion now in effect, we will turn that into slow falling once again. We're adding some more redstone to make it last a little bit longer. Next, we're using the nether wart to make another awkward potion and then using the blaze powder to make the strength potion after that. We've got our awkward potion, so let's add in the blaze powder. And we have redstone dust making it last a total of eight minutes. And since I don't think I'll need even more than one of these, I think slow falling and strength should be good on the potion front. Next, we're going to grab ourselves a jack-o'-lantern, a water bucket, and some blocks for pillaring. I love having an ender chest. It just is so much more convenient to just have like an extra little chest of things just ready to go. But let's see, I need a water bucket. Perfect, there's a water bucket. Add that into our ender chest. We'll use a bunch of stone because we have plenty to be our pillaring blocks, so that should be good. I should also make a spare bed just in case and let's make it a cyan bed and then we'll grab some blocks. There we go. Make a bed and make it cyan and we'll use that as our traveling adventure bed and we should have perfect. We've got a pumpkin. And now we just take our pumpkin, grab our shears, shear our pumpkin, and there's our little friend we'll be wearing for the fight. Of course, I always have a texture pack so I don't see the uh, pumpkin mask. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, wearing a jack-o'-lantern head gives you this when you look around. But you don't. You can't see it on my face, but in first person, you see it. So we're definitely going to fix that before we go to the end and go exploring. But the other thing we don't have a whole lot of is ender pearls. That will be for a future episode. With all of the supplies that I'll need to go to the end, pretty much ready to go. I think that's going to call it for today's episode. I, I'm very happy with the progress that we got done today. We made a gorgeous storage room that is so cozy on the inside. And we made a bamboo farm so that I can have unlimited bamboo for building sticks and for a fuel source. Thank you so much for tuning into this video if you made it this far. I hope you enjoyed the cozy builds that we got done today. And I'll see you in the next one where we take on the dragon.